Who's your favorite clown? Hey, that's me! After 34 years of daily programs on close to 300 television stations, Bozo, the world's most famous clown, is alive and well. Larry Harmon created the TV character in the early days of television, 1950, and he always knew that he had some mighty big shoes to fill. Just remember what your old pal Bozo always says, just... Just keep laughing. <laughs> Bozo appeared as a voice on record before Larry franchised the character to local television stations, beginning at KTLA. Not bad for a USC drum major studying gynecology. I believe, it, like Kaiser says, I don't mean Wilhelm, I mean Henry. He said, find a need and fill it. Mm -hmm. And I saw a need when television started in the late 40s and early 50s. I found a need that was out there. The world was looking for somebody. Somebody to relate to it. Well, 34 years later, we're still on, we're still big. We're, in fact, in, in, in Brazil, just now, this past week, we just won our third Emmy in a row for the best children's show on Brazilian television. Not all bozos dance like this one in Brazil, but they all look alike. Larry cloned his clown image at local stations, so the Boston bozo looked like the one in Detroit. I want to become many means. Well, in the late 60s, I did that. I had 183 bozos all over the world. I trained them to walk, talk, look, think, see, be, do everything as I do. There is a magic with bozo. I can say it because we've had uh, uh, lawyers who want to become bozos, and a couple that have. I had a reverend. Uh, uh, I'm the actual reverend had his own church in Australia, and he, he is a bozo. While the local bozos minded the store, Larry was able to travel the world, producing films for the show. He mingled with the natives in Africa and trained with the New York City Fire Department. He even became the first weightless clown as a guest on a NASA test mission. Well, during the beginning of the ascent and the end of the descent, the pull of gravity is twice your normal weight. I trained with the other astronauts, and then the day came, the Bozo mission, and I went out there and I did my thing in zero gravity. They still use it in many cases to train the new astronauts and to train some of the new programming with, uh, I guess, the Columbia or whatever else they would want to use it for. The Bozo empire generated $150 million at its peak, and Larry runs it all from an office in his elegant home. When we started on television, and that's 34 years ago.